Hello and welcome to this short anytime class. You can do this any time of day. Don't need any special props. Just going to go ahead and get started with it right away. It's a short class, so uh, let's get to it. Let's go ahead and start with a simple cross-legged seated position. Doesn't matter which way you sit. Pick one for now. Go ahead and inhale and get tall and exhale. Hinge at your hips. Fold forward any amount. Whatever works for you. You can stay more upright. You can be sitting up on a blanket. Whatever's best for you. Breathing here. Keeping your hips rounded into the mat. Continue to breathe. Inhale, come up. Switch the cross of your legs. And now we're going to go to the side. So we're going to go ahead and, again, hinge forward. But this time we're going to hinge and go off to our left. So bring your hands up to the left-hand side. And look, you're now folding over that left knee. Breathe here. Inhale, let's go to the right-hand side. Just folding over that right knee, breathing and bending forward any amount. So you can be more upright or you can be further down, whatever feels best in your hips. From here, come all the way back up. And now we'll come to stand at the top of our mats. So go ahead and stand into mountain pose. And from here, we're going to inhale, reach your arms up overhead. Exhale, fold forward, bend your knees if you need to. Inhale, halfway lift. You can always put your hands on your shins. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, arms reach overhead and come back into mountain pose. We'll do that twice more. This is just a great way to warm the body up if you have very little time. This is just something you can do anytime, anywhere. You could be in an airport doing this, so go for it. Inhale, arms reach up overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Bend in your knees. <clears throat> Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale and fold in. Inhale, arms reach up overhead. Back to mountain pose. We'll do that one more time. Inhale. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, arms reach overhead and come back into your mountain pose. From here, we're going to go ahead and step that left foot back to a high lunge. So go ahead and find your stance. If you need to widen your legs out, go for that. Take your hands, interlace them, and stretch them up overhead with your palms facing toward the ceiling. So give a nice stretch to your hands. Do so much for us every day. A deep bend in that front right leg. Breathing here. Exhale, release your hands. And now we're going to bring this, uh, come into warrior two, warrior one, excuse me, warrior one. So go ahead and bring your back heel down. You're going to have your hips square to the front of the room. Bring your arms, interlace them behind your back. Hold on your t-shirt or just have your hands. They don't have to interlace if you're unable to clasp them. Clasp them if you can and go ahead and we're going to fold over and in between that right leg. So you're going to fold between your legs until it's called Humble Warrior. My arms are going to be outstretched up to the sky. Breathing here. Exhale and step forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, rise your arms all the way up overhead. And exhale, back to mountain pose. Now for the other side. So go ahead and step that right foot back. Left leg is in front and deep, deeply bent. You're in a high lunge here. Clasp those hands again, interlace them. And now again, stretch the palms up toward the ceiling as you breathe here in your high lunge. Back heel is off the ground right now. Exhale, release your hands. And now let's come into that warrior two stance. So go ahead and drop that back heel down. And your hips will be squared to the front of your, your mat. From here, interlace your hands. And now we're going to fold in between the legs. Here again for a humble warrior. So you'll be to the inside of your left leg. Your arms will reach up overhead, stretching those shoulders out. Breathing here.
Exhale, plant your hands one step back into a downward facing dog. Pedal out the legs. Downward dog is also a great go-to pose. If you have just a couple of minutes, do a couple of those um, forward fold and halfway lifts like you did at the beginning. Put a throw a down dog in there and you've, you've stretched a lot of your body in just those few poses. So just because you're short on time doesn't mean you can't work in something. Stretch here, hips up toward the sky. Adjust your stance, go ahead and rock forward into a plank. And exhale, lower all the way down. Plant your hands, and now let's bring the shoulders back down onto the back. And inhale and rise up into your cobra. Any amount that feels good to you. Exhale, lower back down. Let's do two more cobras. Inhale, lift up into cobra. Exhale, back down. Once more. Inhale, rise up into cobra. And exhale, back down. And the cobra is also a great pose to do any time that you're low on, low on time. It helps. That, that mild back bend helps give you some energy. <clears throat> All right, from here, we're going to come up and do a, a quad stretch. So we're going to go ahead and take that right forearm and put it out in front of us and reach back with our left hand and grab a hold of that left foot and bend it in any amount. So you may need to stay more upright. You may find that you can't grab the foot, and that's okay. You could always stay in a sphinx pose and just bend that leg in any amount. So kind of have to play around with your own body and see how it works. But if you're able, go ahead and pull that in. You'll get more of a quad stretch the more you pull it in, less if you want to back off a bit. So... See what works best for you. No pain in the knee. Breathing here. And release that. And now we'll do the other side. So go ahead and bring your left forearm in front of you. And reach back with your right hand. And pull that leg in. And we're stretching that out. I have tight quads, so this is, this is, if you have tight quads like I do, this is great to do daily. The more you do it, you will find that you'll be able to, your quads will open up a bit more. I do have sensation in my knee when I do this pose because my quads are so tight, but it's not pain, it's just sensation. So you'll need to know the difference between that. If you, if you have pain in your knee, you need to back out of the pose. Okay, let go of that leg. And now from here, we're going to come on to our right side. And bring your, your right arm out to the, to the left here. Go ahead and bring your left arm on top of that. And from here, we're just going to open up into a twist. So go ahead and bring your top leg, your left leg, and bend it over to the side. So your hips are going to be stacked. And now your left arm, you're going to open it up. Come all the way open here. So you're in a twist. You may find that your knee is going to pop off the ground. That's okay. We're going more for having the shoulder more down the ground if possible. So this may come up more, but we're also keeping the hips stacked to this pose. Breathing here. Alternatively, you can also have your leg out stretch straight. So if you really want to get a little bit more into those hamstrings, you could also straighten that leg out in this twist. So you're getting a twist and you're getting a hamstring opener. So play around, see what you like. You know, you can do more than have a pose be beneficial for more than one body part. And from here, we're going to come and roll over and we'll go roll over onto our left side. <clears throat> Both of your arms out to the right. Stacked. And then you're going to bend that right knee. And then open up into your twist. So bring that right arm open. Again, your knee may come off of the ground. It's better to have this shoulder down, knee, your hip stacked, and your knee off the ground. That's perfectly fine. And alternatively, you can also stretch that, that right leg, that top leg out long and straight on the mat. So, or not on the mat, but actually straight and long out to the side. So you'll get a twist along with opening in the hamstring.
And from here, go ahead and come over onto your back. And we'll just do um, a couple rounds of a quick bridge here. So inhale and go ahead and lift your hips up. And release that back down. Go ahead and stretch your right up to the sky. You can keep your left leg bent. That's fine. Your right leg is bent, is, is straight up to the sky. And just roll the ankle in circles a bit. I'm just going to give the ankles a little bit of love here to finish out the class. While you're doing that, let's multitask. Let's go ahead and roll the wrist in circles too. Go ahead and bring that leg down. Let's do the right leg up into the sky. And roll the, the ankle in circles. And again, you can do your wrist. Bring that leg down, and just for fun, let's go ahead and bring both legs up, both arms up, and roll everything, your wrist and both your ankles into circles and circles. Just really loosen all that up. Go ahead and bend your knees into your chest. Give yourself a nice, nice hug. You can be proud of yourself. Go ahead and roll over to the side. Come all the way back up. We still have a few minutes to go, so you actually could... Um, Add something else onto this. So if you have a, a couple more minutes, you could go ahead and lie on the Shavasana. You could do legs up the wall. You could do any other of your favorite poses. Maybe you like a pigeon pose. So if you need some shoulder stuff, you know, you've got a couple minutes here to play with. So I made this one a little bit shorter to kind of give you some time at the end if you wanted to spend a couple of minutes either in meditation, Shavasana, or one of your favorite poses, or if there's something you need to work on. But this is just a great anytime short class. So thank you for joining me, and I hope this was helpful. Namaste.